Welcome to part 2 of season 9 of the ZM Cohetes Create a Club Car Mode. We are almost done. We have just one episode left after this episode. That's because I am doing the entire the entire full season for the final for the final season, which is going to be next episode. So um the first match that we are going to be playing is I mean I want it to be a Champions League match. Or I guess I would just like do this one the Villarreal match and then I will just like do a normal simulation for that and then I will go into the Barcelona match and then probably I mean I'm not going to play the Super Copa to be honest because I'm just honestly like for this season I'm not interested in it I want to I mean I've already lost a trophy this season so I'm not really interested in winning every single one that comes comes to my side and I just made a really big mistake I just accidentally simmed through that one I don't know why I did that I don't even know where I seemed to, but that's a good win against um, Sevilla 2-1. I really wish that I would have won that match against Villarreal, but I can't really go back on that. Let's see if there's anything important that I want to buy. No, getting his transfer. Tomia, there's a lot of Tomia to transfer right now, but I do not want to sell him. We say blah blah blah. I was disappointed. It was a disappointing result, but thanks for putting me. Don't beat yourself up. Okay, that was that was an accident. It was a disappointing result. Okay, I, I should just don't beat yourself up about it. So for the semi-finals, I do not want to go all out here. I'm just going to try and put a team that is good but is not. I I mean all all the teams I can muster up right now are really really good. So I mean this first team where everybody is freaking ninety rated is is insane i mean apart from james but i mean kamavinga is right there to to support him so i'll still say the first team is is nice rated i know so bringing Rise, i think i'm good with this i'm tempted to play learning so i think i think i'll just do that i think i think i'll just go ahead and do that so let's see if we can get the first win yes we do Rise gets a brace german gets the first goal of the match and that's that's a good start so the the finals just be in a couple couple days yet yeah, against atletico madrid as fucking usual and I'm, I'm not interested in playing these this either ways so i'm just going to go all out and by all out i mean kamavenga is going to have to start and healthy will to get the the captain's armband and i should not lose this match i hope i don't Holland and german german is actually scoring a lot of goals in this particular season it's crazy i mean he's he's currently second on the stuff on the league like in the squad in terms of in terms of goals and all that so now that we have the super copa out of the way i mean it's good that we were able to win it um I think I think the next thing that I will be focused on is the Champions League, but I will play the Atletico Madrid match that is before the Champions League match. So three one to Almeria, and we have Celta Vigo up next, and I'm getting a draw. Then we're in the Copa del Rey now, and let's hope that we we can go a considerable amount in this um in this season. But we won the first three of the parts. We have Atletico Madrid, then we have Barcelona right right after. So I'm going to play those two matches, not the full ones though. I mean, I'm, I'm saving full matches for the for the finals of the different competitions. So I'm, a, I'm going to have to face, I'm eventually going to have to face those two, those two teams again. All right, I think I, think I, I would go all out. But I'll bring Rise in here. All right, so let's see. Let's see how exactly we can do this. Okay, so we are the Wando Metropolitano, or as the game says sometimes, the Civitas Metropolitano. Yeah, Civitas. I don't know how to pronounce that, but Civitas Me Metropolitano. It's a really interesting stadium, and it is one stadium that we have a really, really long as history of winning in. Like almost. All of the matches we've played in the stadium, we've won it. All right, so they have the first scenario of the match, and it's it's one that I should be able to to work with to prevent. Yeah, Stewart did a really good job there, and now we have a fairly straightforward goal if the game doesn't you know, fuck fuck it up as usual. 
German out of foot keeper was able to save that and yeah that chance is long gone they have a I mean if it was me I would have shot immediately here yeah and he did he did but Vandre was able to match that equally we have a counter attack and I feel like German is probably the best the best option here if you know the game doesn't screw me over which they already have all right all right so Rise solo run I think I think you got this if if the game doesn't fuck up yeah he's fast enough to do this he's fast enough to do this and the game is oh god but why the fuck did he have to freeze at that at that very point makes makes no fucking sense makes no fucking sense to be honest all right we have a crossing option here and it's fucked up not really not really Ugh. I, mean, I don't even get to see what the hell i'm doing Haaland, Haaland is a good option but i think german is the safer one definitely so yeah i <laughs> that shit confuses me every single fucking time but i mean he does get it done and that's what matters it's the fact that we are 2 nil up against and let's go Madrid. Now they have a counter attack of their own. Um, our defenders should be able to do something about this. Yep, they are. Tomiyasu, good job. I don't know why you're freaking playing centre back right now. But we have one last attack. Are we going to be able to make this 3 0? Probably not. Match probably going to end before anything happens. Or not. Yeah, I mean, it froze and I just couldn't do exactly what I wanted to do. I wanted to do like a, a, a finesse shot to go around the keeper. But of course, that shit did not happen. Could not happen. I, I really don't know why it's lagging, to be honest. It's not supposed to be lagging this bad. Probably need to get Boosteroid, finally, finally. Probably will have to get that. So, um, next match is against Barcelona. Oh, this one is even a Copa del Rey copa del rey fixture that's that's interesting i guess i'll i don't want to wear the away kit you know what i think i'll just wear it again the alternate rather because the away kit is going to clash with that one am i going to make any changes probably learning i've never played with him before like in, in a match i actually play then by no gittins maybe no i'll bring Kamavinga back in and I think I think I am good with this. Adeyemi maybe for Holland probably. I think that will work. So let's see what we can do against Barcelona in the Copa del Rey. We are at the El Libertador, the Barcelona Stadium in FIFA, and we are here to win them in the Copa del Rey to progress to the semi-finals. I think it will be the semi-finals, or I think this is the semi-finals. I'm not sure. This is probably the semi-finals if I'm not wrong. Probably, I really can't. I really can't tell. Do they write it anywhere? No, they don't. All right, so let's just focus right now. We have the first attack, and that passes over short unnecessarily, and we weren't able to break through the defense there. They have an attack. We're already in the second half. God, I hate it. How how does that much time pass just like that? It makes no sense. Like you're telling me, like for 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 that amount of time that passed, nothing has happened in this match. A match against two two Spanish heavyweights. That is just unbelievable. All right, what you got? First goal of the of the game, Karim Adeyemi. You have done really well, my man. German did really well to be able to, 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 to be able to set up that chance for him. We have another opportunity. Looking like the game is going to fuck this up. I really hope they don't. Kamavinga, you intercept that. Sorry, you get that well. Foden, nice work. Who's there? 
Ugh, how the hell do you miss that? How the hell do you not score that? Alright, Barcelona has a really scary chance, I would say. A really fucking scary chance. So let's just try and prevent the goal as much as possible. Yeah, thank you for that, Helvig. And that is a 1 0 win. So I guess. Um, All right, so it's it it, it is the semi final, so we we'll we will be playing the the second leg in our in our stadium, Tampico Hetes. I think that's what it's called. It's been long. <laughs> I've actually thought about that. But goddamn, that is actually a lot of stuff to do before we actually get into the first Champions League match. That's actually a lot. We have the first one here. I'm going to do a normal simulation for this, and then if we do well, that would that would determine if I. If I um, simulate through the second leg or not so let's just see what would happen here I'm going to go all out using my main team and we draw it which means we're going to have to play the the second leg just to be on the safe side we're going to be at home in that leg so I, I think I wouldn't really have any problems playing that we will have the home buff and all but before we, we focus on that, let's go straight into the Barcelona match. I'm going all out in this tour. I'm putting my best team out there for Barcelona to eat. And they definitely are going to eat the defeat in this match. Okay, so we are at our stadium, the prestigious Camp de Cojetes. And we are in the second leg of the semi-finals of the Copa del Rey. And man, this is, this is definitely going to be a tough match. We won the first one 1-0. One and now we have a penalty for Fonseca. I'm going to go for the Panenka. So let's hope that he does not embarrass himself. He does not. The keeper does embarrass himself. And that is the first goal of this match in the 13th minute. And that is 2-0 on aggregate. So we have a Barcelona solo run here. Um, there is backup for whoever into the ball. And why the hell is... Bro... How how the hell how the hell are we already in the 80th minute? I really don't understand this thing at all. How the hell how do we how the hell do we are we already in the 80th minute? It makes no bloody sense, and that pass didn't make any sense either. But we have okay, it's not a counter attack; it's a normal attack, and I should be able to get something out of this. German is that offside? Alright, nothing. When did they score it? That is bullshit. When the fuck did they score a goal? When the actual fuck did this guy score a goal, man? And I swear to God, if they score this, I'm going to be so pissed. I'm going to be so pissed off if they score this. I'm going to be so pissed off if they score this. Uh, this game is giving them every bloody chance to win this match, aren't they? But you're not going to be able to head against any of my players, so just forget it. And they go straight to the keeper, so that is a 2-1 win. They tried to cheat. The cheating didn't work. I really don't get how the hell they, they got a goal in this match. I, I'm definitely not tripping. I'm definitely not losing time, or am I? <laughs> Man, that's 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 just stupid. So next battle would be the match against Ajax. So we draw against Real Betis. We have our rivals up next. They're just really not important anymore to play against. But we do get the win this time around. We drew with them in the first time we played. That was the first match of the episode. And now we have Ajax to worry about. Anything important here? Nothing. Just progress assessments and tournament prize money. That I just saw 80 million for for a match just now that's that, that's insane that is fucking insane all right so let's just sort the kit out real quick i guess this one will be the best and for the squad i'm going to bring in adiemi and rise from avenga as well and i think tom yasu should get a match here which means Helvig will go on here and Vardio will play in the center. I think I think this would be okay. It should be okay. So let's see if we can grab ourselves a win and a ticket to the quarterfinals of the Champions League. So we're coming out of the tunnel. This is going to be one hell of a tough match because, I mean, 
we're both we're both going to be fighting for the quarterfinal spot. I mean, our team our team should be a lot better. We should have a lot more um, attacking scenarios than they than they than they do. All right, that's good from Pedri. What can you do here? And that's not what I wanted it to do. That's really not what I wanted it to do. But this might just be a really good opportunity. German, break him free. Fonseca is in a very good position. That did not just happen. That did not just happen. That did not just fucking happen. I mean, we still get the goal, but that was just bullshit on the highest order. That was just that was just real fucking bullshit right there. Damn. <laughs> All right, back to Pedri. Don't know who sent you to use your freaking left leg to shoot that, but they have a, a penalty. I haven't been able to save penalties in a long ass time. And I do not know which direction he's looking, to be honest. Just I just I want to just get there. And really? Really? Alright, so Adeyemi has a chance for a brace. So let's get this. Power shots. Bottom left corner. Nothing that anyone could have done there. Nothing that the keeper could have done there. I mean, it was so close and so powerful. Solo run for Rise. I guess you wouldn't really be able to go around the defender, would you? Fonseca. And yeah, this is this is this is one hell of a punishment. Three goal deficits for them, not for me. And all right, so they have a solo run. We are in a very good position. Stewart is back and that is really good interception. Rather really good um, defending. Who will be the best person to pass this to? Looks like Adeyemi is... Of course, of course, of course. The game fucking does that. Of course the game fucking does that. <laughs> Man, whatever. All right, so we are through to the quarterfinals. That's what matters. It's been. It was a really good match. We scored a lot of goals early on, and that pretty much settled everything. Pretty much settled the entire match, and I'm good with that. There's supposed to be a quarterfinal match anytime soon, but I do not see it. So I'm going to sim to the match against Zaragoza, and if the the semi-final does pop up, or the quarterfinals does pop up, I will deal with that. Please tell me we have a win here against Athletic Club. Yes, we do 3-1. That's a really good win. Champions League match. We have Bayern in the quarterfinal. This is going to be tough. But it's, I, I don't think it's something that we would not be able to come to um come through. To push through. I don't know the fucking English to use there, big. <laughs> but I'm going to be simming this one. I want to go all out because it's, uh, it's fucking Bayern I'm talking about here. So... Best team, 90 rated all through and through. Let's see what you guys got. Yes, that is a big win, but I'm still I'm still going to want to play the second leg. Because I mean you're just not going to give Byron a big, big tiniest bit of space. You just you just should not do that. I know. So you know what? I doubt they're going to have a really big win against us. So I would simulate this match against Barcelona and play the 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 finals of the Copa del Rey against Real Sociedad. We draw the match 2-2, so that is a win. We're through to the to the um what do you call it? To the semi-finals of the Champions League. And as you guys saw there real quick, it was against um AC Milan. I'm bringing Kamavinga in here for Ritz. Bino Gittins just give you a chance to play Tomiyasu as well. Which means this is going to happen. Adeyemi, you play in for you coming for Haaland, and then you guys should not lose this match. 
you don't. So Adeyemi and Healthy get the goals for the team. One all draw against Rayo Vallecano, and finally we are in the finals of the Copa de España. I want to look at where we are on the league real quick. Sorry, boss, but I forgot to blah blah blah. We'll make sure of it next time. I really don't understand why you can't get subbed off. To be honest, I mean, wouldn't it have, wouldn't it have had made sense that you got subbed off because we have a really important match coming up? Like, why the hell are you not thinking, bro? Well, anyways, we are eighty-one points, four points away from Barcelona, Real Madrid. Are uh, basically through. I, I doubt they are going to be loose guarding or dropping dropping that fourth fourth place position but now we have a big match against um this team that is not fully fit i'm not going to play the match the, the full match rather i will play the highlights obviously and i will be going all out because it's a fucking final and i'm pretty sure i'm pretty sure that you know let's let's put Rita in here because he's fully fit Haaland isn't fully fit, but I mean it's Haaland too, so, you know. The match day for the finals of the Copa de España is upon us, and we're going up against Real Sociedad. I mean, it's been Villarreal, Real Madrid, Villarreal the last time we've been in the finals, and this is the fourth final in a row that we are going to be in this competition. That is insane. I'm really happy that we are winning this thing back to back. This will be the fourth final, and this is the possible fourth trophy that we're going to win in a row and that is that is insane so um let's start the match here their team was really unfit for this match Rise is looking like the best option here so i'm going to play to him straight away and shouldn't really have any problems no chip is please and shit, that is just a little bit wild and we aren't able to get the first goal there. I probably should have sweat it off to German or Fonteca or something like that. Don't know why I didn't do that. Alright, good from Stewart. And we have a solo run. Haaland is looking like he's going to be in the best position for this. Thank you. And that's the first goal of the match. In the 56th minute, I don't know why. I don't know why it's taking so long for them to. I don't know why it's skipping so much time. It's really annoying to be honest. But I mean, that's what we get. But we do get the first goal of the of the match, and oh my god, that was that was crazy. What? How was that so effortless? That was so bloody effortless. Well, I mean, it's looking like we got this. I see Rise on the right. Fonteca. Yeah, the game the game just fucked that up completely. I, it wasn't even a first touch. That's the, that's the annoying thing about it. It was not even a first touch. German. Ugh, doesn't get to you, of course. It does get to Haaland, though. And it goes round to Fonseca. And, of course, the game fucks me up. But Haaland is right there right there to fuck them all back because i don't know what the hell happened there and haaland is just the, the kind of player that would punish them through and through we have a solo run for him and i don't know who scored the first goal but i doubt it's haaland though but power shots and goal yeah it's, it's definitely not a hat trick i don't think it's a hat trick yeah i don't think it is but that is the Copa del Rey that we are lifting for the fourth time in a row. That is insane. But we still have the La Liga to win and the Champions League to win. And man, I really, I really cannot wait. I really, really, really cannot wait for us to lift those trophies. That will be four trophies we're lifting in this in this um, um episode or rather in this season together. And it's Helvig that is going to be lifting this one this time around. Calvin James has been dropping off, so he's not really at the same level that he was anymore. But Helvig, I have no problems with him lifting it. So there you have it. Champions of the Copa del Rey, four years in a row, four years in the running, four years undefeated champions, and well, I think I think I think we can go ahead and win it five times in a row. Next up, we have the match against AC Milan, and. Uh, I'll bring in 
Kamavinga. Maybe this guy, Williams. And then Rise for Froden. Let's see how well we can do in this leg. 2 1. It's not really it's not really that big a win. But Haaland does get a brace. If I'm not wrong, I, I can't really remember if it was Haaland that scored the first goal or not. Completely just slipped my mind as soon as I saw it and went past it. But next match will be just in a week's time. That's a very devastating loss against Malaga. How the how how the hell does that even happen? How the bloody fucking hell does that happen? Alright, so we do get the manager of the of the month award. We've actually had a really, really good season. A really good couple of seasons to be honest. I think I think we are supposed to get a Oh no, we do not get it actually. Player of the tournament for the Copa de España is Haaland. That is good for him. And yeah, I do not. They do not show us the manager of the month. Well, that's really not important, to be honest. So let's focus on this match. I don't know who the hell is trying to tell me something in the comments there. But Foden is actually low on stamina once again. So this is what I will be good with. I'm going all out, leaving James in there, and going to be playing the highlights of this match we have one more match to play in the episode i mean the full match which is going to be oops <laughs> sorry about that <laughs> just always thought of my entire table just now god knows what all right i think i'm good don't know why i was playing with the fucking lever so we are the san zero against ac milan and we have played a very devastating match against these guys before they were the first team that we faced in the finals of the champions league and they beat us 4-2 i think or was it 4-0 yeah it was 4-0 in the first half and we we're able to like recover in the second half but we just weren't able to um get the win because i mean the, the gap was just too was just too large but right now we have played them a couple of times after that and we beat them every other time so this is not going to be this is not going to be any different we have german and i'm looking for something really crazy right now is it going to be yes man that this guy's outer foot is sick the guy's outer foot is insane and that is the first option the first scenario less than less than a couple seconds in and we already have we already have a goal in this match so 3-1 on aggregate, looking for German once again, give it to Fonseca, Haaland, okay, that probably wasn't the best option, but we have the ball, the game foxes up, and we don't have the ball anymore, so, they have a counter-attack in the second half, and I feel like we should be able to, okay, Oh my god, Guardio. What? That is bullshit. That is bullshit, man. That is fucking bullshit. But whatever, we have um, a chance here. Didn't work out. Probably should have given Haaland, but we have another really good opportunity here for German. I doubt a a um Okay, that was not very good. But okay. <laughs> uh, that wasn't really what I had had in mind there. The the extra touch was was a mistake. I wanted to try and do the outer shot thing again, but you know, just didn't work out and man that was one hell of that was one hell of a pass and one hell of the of a way to control that. This German, this German is giving me really, really good vibes in this match right now. Because he's just doing everything right, and that was one. That was a tough ass tackle for me. Really aggressive. But we do get the win. That's what, that's what matters. And we are in yet another final of the Champions League. It's insane. And uh, I don't know who we're going to face, but we are. Probably going to be getting the win in it. Probably. 
most most likely we are going to get the win and i just can't help but look at this goal once again it's just heavenly it's a fucking heavenly goal man yeah from the kickoff straight to this and that was that was well worked that was well worked i should try and do that with him more often to be honest I'm, i mean i'm playing a full match a full match pretty soon so i guess i would have a couple chances to be able to do that with him yeah so let's look at the table real quick we are one point in front of in front of um barcelona which means this is going to be tough we cannot draw or lose any matches which is which is making me want to play every single one from here on out but let's not do that let's go to the to the real madrid match i'm going to simulate that that might be the one where we lift the trophy if everything goes well if everything goes bad for barcelona so let's see if we are indeed lifting the trophy in this match no we are not if if they lose the match though then we are probably going to lift the trophy so i'm i'm hoping i'm hoping that let's go madrid would would do a good job and defeat barcelona here i mean barcelona is long gone from them that is crazy but anyways let's see yeah i'm saving i i want to save players for the champions league final even though it's not like the the immediate match after this but it's still you know what let's just not let's just worry about the players that are kind of fit for this match like kamavinga um williams I, I don't think i would play williams in this match so uh james i'm going to leave you on just so that you can lift the trophy so hopefully hopefully the game doesn't fuck things up and uh sub him out which is very very likely because he's not very he's not, he, i mean he's highly rated but he's not as highly rated as he once was before so he probably might get subbed out and then helvig will be the one to lift the trophy again but i mean I, I, I really don't mind if helvig wins it or not if helvig lifts it or not sorry so yeah we are the company cohetters for the final home match in the la liga we have done really well yet again solo run for haaland you should be able to you should be able to get past this defender easily haaland you should be able to get past this defender easily thank you and that is a really good goal to start the match for Haaland and for the team. Really good finesse into the bottom corner. Re go past the keeper really, really easily. And I uh, don't know how the hell Fonseca is playing in defense right now. And how the hell did that just happen? How the fuck did that just happen? What the fuck? Alright, so... I see I see something really interesting here that was that was actually actually really sexy that was actually really sexy play from German just I, I was actually planning on giving Risi there I don't know what the hell Fonseca was doing his passing is actually really bad it's not it's not very it's not very reliable to be honest I mean I ex I expected that good work from 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 Bandre to to save our save our asses there i really hope i really hope alessio madrid is doing the needful right now i really hope they are doing the needful let's see if Haaland can get something on this yeah he did but it just wasn't that much Rise. oh of course of course the game does that of course the game does shit like that <laughs> man all right so the champions have been crowned which means that atletico madrid did do a good job in their match so we are going to be lifting the la liga for the umpteenth time <laughs> really don't know how how many times we've said it but it's been i, I think it has to be over i, I think should, I, I think this should be the sixth or seventh time i will check it after this but this has been one hell of a match so is is james still here i don't see him anywhere I think Hamavinga has in fact come come on for him, so uh, yeah, he's not going to be the one lifting the trophy. It's going to be um, they're not showing me. I don't know who it is. 
Is that helping? I don't know. They're not showing me, but that is the La Liga trophy that we're going to be lifting for the second time in a row. Oh, James is the one lifting it. That is cool. And, and I say second time in a row because the last um, the last episode was sorry, the last season was the first time that I actually showed us lifting the trophy, and we're going to be seeing ourselves lifting the trophy for the second time in a row right now, and that is insane. I don't know why no one is shouting. That's just does the entire fucking mood. But um, we're looking at a treble once again. Yet another treble. We got a treble last season. We got all of the fucking trophies last season, not just the fucking treble. <laughs> that that was that was crazy. And uh, yeah, we're looking at a treble this time around. I mean, it would have been it would have been nice if we did get the Super Cup, but that's that's just not happening. Top scorer in the in the La Liga, we have German with thirty seven goals. We have one more match before before that gets to be decided. But I think I think we're going to coast through that match easily. Last match of the season against Real Sociedad, the team that we beat to to lift the. Copa de España trophy and then we coast through that match easily 5-1 and the 31st of May we have the fucking finals of the Champions League that's going to, it's going to be tough it's going to be really fucking tough and uh, player of the tournament we have Fonseca player of the tournament for La Liga ZM could have to look to, to claim second trophy I mean it's going to be the third fucking trophy what the hell are you talking about Juventus does win the Europa League that's good for them and I'm guessing, I'm guessing, wait, who is the top scorer in the Champions League right now? Mbappe, Mbappe, and German is on nine. So, I mean, he would possibly get top scorer if he scores in this match, which I'm planning on, on, on making him score. I'm, pl I'm, pl I'm planning on letting that happen. What the fuck was I speaking just now? God, English can be so fucking stupid sometimes. <laughs> All right, so we're going to give them that kit. I want to wear my my away kit as well. I think this would work. This this would this should work. Yeah. I mean, it's there. There's a really big contrast there. Not that much of a contrast, but I mean, it's two two separate colors, and it's light and dark at that. So I guess that would that would work. I want to start at the ME because Holland Holland is going to be dead by the by the end of the first half. I do, I don't know why. Really don't know why. Is he on? He's, oh, he's on. He was on aggressive interceptions. So I'm just going to say that is what was causing it. Um, Stewart, you're not going to start this one. Tomiyasu is going to start it, and then I think I think Kamavinga should start this one. And yeah, I'm I'm good. I'm good with this. So, finals of the Champions League against Spurs. I really wasn't expecting them to be the ones that we are going to play against. But I mean, it's it's a match, it's a match, and there's really nothing I can do about who I'm playing. But this is going to be a tough match. I see Fati, Osimen, Musiala, Guamaresh. I don't know who the fuck's expensive. Timba is there. Zarachu. Oh my God! It was Zarachu. They're the ones that fucking bought Zarachi, so he's going to be playing against his old team. I'm, it's going to be really, really fun to see him play. And uh, I think this is the first time I'm going to be playing against someone that's not in my team, that, that we sold from, from, the, from the OG squad. At that. I don't think we've played against Donovan. I mean, I've seen Donovan, but I don't think we've played against him. But anyway, anyway, that doesn't really matter. So, um, what, what does matter is this match, that is actually a really, really good good kits that this guy is wearing. You can see it's German. That was really interesting. But this guy, Antofati, might just be our main problem. He might probably be the Vinicius of this team. And well, here we are in the... I don't know why this looks like the Tottenham Hotspur Stadium. It is the fucking Tottenham Hotspur Stadium. <laughs> ah, fucking hell. Alright, alright, alright. So... This might be tougher for us psychologically in the game. Obviously, not for me because I really don't care that we are in this in this place. But Champions League trophy at stake for the fifth time, or is it sixth? I think this should be the sixth time. I'm not sure. I will check the Continental trophies. I know we've won the Europa League once, so that minus the amount of times that we've won the Champions League. Whatever. So let's just jump straight into the match. Yeah, the kids do not clash i'm happy with that and we have 
possession play to start the match. Oh my god, that was that was sexy. <laughs> that was a sexy move. And yeah, I'm obviously um doing preferential treatment for uh that was good from Helvig. That was really good from Helvig to to stop that counter. Anyway, I know that I'm doing preferential treatment for oh my god, I fucked up there big time. I didn't see like the game the game froze it lag rather and <laughs> all right we are we are really pumping the gas right now against these guys i hope that we can do this to the end of the match i really hope that we can let's see oh that 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 didn't quite work out did it Foden, what do you got oh that is sexy that is fucking sexy so that's the first goal of the match it wasn't really clear because the game lagged i'm really really sorry about that i swear i would get boosteroid by the end of this series so that was that was an insane goal really really fucking insane outer foot exactly what i've been trying that i'm I, i'm trying to get with um what's his face with german that is what Foden has gone and pulled right now oh my god all right i probably i probably should have closed him down that would have that would have been the better option but I, I honestly just switched off there, to be honest. I don't know why. But that is indeed what I did. And then again, happens again. And alright, alright. So, corner isn't really a bad thing. It's a good chance for a counter, which I am expecting to get. Good. German. Ugh. Oh, that's Zaracho. That is Zaracho. Okay, so we have another corner. Let's hope that we can get something better from this. To German. Oh my god. Oh my god. That did not just fucking happen. I thought that was my fucking player. Okay. I need to. I, I need to calm down. I need to calm down here. I just I, I just spoke about coming down just now. Holland, what you got? Can you get this? You can and no lot of power on it. And the game is really, really lagging a lot now, and I do not really like that. It's fucking the game up a lot. And that was actually that was actually really good play. Nothing comes up, comes out of that though. It sucks. All right, half time one one. This is actually a lot tougher than I than I than I than I anticipated, especially with the with, with the way the match started. Ugh. All right, we're doing better though. We're doing a lot better than than they are. Okay, that was good interception from the defense there, and that's not who I passed to. But whatever, let's just move on. And try and not concede another goal. That would be that would be appreciated. Okay, thank you to Van Dre for coming that and smothering that chance. Okay. Let's just calm down here. Try and look for the best options. Come on, come on. That pass could have could have been a lot better. Haaland, what you got? Nothing. Ugh. This match is getting pretty frustrating because a lot of things I'm trying to do is not happening. Helvig, you got this, right? You got this. Thank you. Thank you so much, Helvig. All right, please get the ball. Okay, this is a goal. Legit. Thank you. All right, so he does get a goal. So now he is the top scorer in the Champions League. 
with 10 goals and yeah that's that's what i've been looking for since now i can i can rest on that objective that i give myself and i mean i actually wanted to do the outer foot but i just felt like um i had overrun it it probably he probably would have have gotten it either ways but i mean i just wanted to be on the safe side there okay that was actually really close that was really close to being a very good interception Haaland nah took too much time to make the run Kamavinga what you got and that was a really good save by the keeper sad that um it wasn't it wasn't particularly seen but let's try our second move here that was that was legit handball but don't know why the fuck every time i shoot the thing is fucking freezing all right so this is becoming rather unbearable to be honest don't know why the fuck oh my god i just fucked up i just fucked up big time yeah i, I probably need to stop making stupid passes like that god i'm getting i'm getting really really fucking agitated right now they brought the keeper out i think this should be a good chance for a counter attack for a counter attack please oh my god Fonseca did not just do that Fonseca did not just fucking do that all right so we have one last chance here one last fucking chance and you can fucking okay so this come on let me just score the fucking goal <laughs> whatever we do we do get the win and we are the latest champions league winners i don't know how many times we won it to be honest but uh yeah we're back to the to the stage of football so calvin james is going to be lifting the champion league trophy and this is really good scenes really really good german was able to score the goal that i wanted him to score and Foden. so it was was kind of the unlikely scorers that got the goals in this match i mean german is not an unlikely scorer but i expected Haaland or um Fonseca to get a goal in this match. Drummer would have got a brace if Fonseca didn't fuck up that really good counter attack where the keeper was not in the post. That, that would have been insane. But, I mean, we are Champions League winners yet again. And, I mean, it's not real. It's not real life, obviously. But, I mean, the feeling of getting this trophy on working from the bottom. I mean, we, we didn't really come from the bottom because I started in La Liga and all. Well, I mean, it's, it took a while before we got the first Champions League trophy, and now we have won it, I think, four times. It's fucking insane, so, in just nine years at that, and we're going to be ending this episode, this series, in the next episode, and uh, it has been, it has been, it has been a really, really good match, and a really good season at that. ZM Cohetes are UEFA Champions League winners, that is good for us. Player of the tournament announced, we have PSG's Leao, I do not believe that, it's supposed to be fucking German. Um, ZM Greatest looked to claim to control We already did that though. And then, yeah, it's nothing, nothing else that's really, really interesting per se. So, let's look at the goals. That's the highest goal scorer in the league. Yeah, um, Fontega with 32, Holland with 15, and German with 15. All right, so I think, let's see who actually got the highest amount of goals between. German and um, Haaland. I, I, I feel like it will be Haaland, but German would get second place because of goal of goal contributions. I think I, I think that is what would happen. And uh, let's look at it here. Stats and Fonseca with 42 goals he got a lot less, nine less than what he did last season. And yeah, like I said, Haaland will get more goals, but German will get more goal contributions. So German does get um, second place. Haaland gets 30 goals and 6 assists, which makes 36 goal contributions. German gets 28 goals and 14 assists, which makes 32. 42, sorry, 42 goal contributions. Then Foden in 5th place, sorry, in 4th place with 8 goals and 9 assists, which is 17 goal contributions. And then Rise in 5th with 7 goals and 5 assists, that is... Um, 13 goal contributions so it's been a really really good season for us we get the treble i wanted to see how many trophies we have won in general like in terms of champion cha champions league we've won continental cups four so plus the 
plus Europa League that we won. That will be four Champions League that we've won in total. We've won the Champions League four times. Then Domestic Cup, we have won the Copa del Rey four times as well. It's going to be the fifth time in if we win it next season, which I'm planning on doing. And we've won the league six fucking times. And I don't even know how many times we've won the um, Super Cup and the Copa Espana. So we've won a lot of goals. We have played, so we have scored 1,102 1, goals in total in the team. And uh, that is, that is actually, that is actually insane so yeah this is the end of the episode if you guys have enjoyed it make sure to hit that like button and also subscribe to the channel if you haven't already next episode is going to be the series finale and we are going to try and win all the trophies that are up for grabs we, we, we obviously have to get um the super cup against juventus i think they're the ones that won the europa league so we have to get that and then the super copa those ones are supposed to be pretty easy and then the hard ones is the la liga I think we should be able to get a couple players that would help us out. Maybe like one or two new players that would um, help our squad depth a little bit. I mean, our squad is really, really fucking deep right now. But I, I mean, for James, I still, I still feel like he, I might need to to replace him and all. But he's definitely, he's definitely going to play in the most important matches because he's our able captain from the start of this fucking series. And I'm really happy that he has gotten to lift so many trophies. He didn't, he didn't lift a fair amount of them because of injury and you know other scenarios and stuff but he has been really good for us really good to us sad that he's dropping off i really don't know i mean he's part of the created players i created and added into the league into the series and um i, I don't even know why i made him old i think I, I started him at 22 or 23 or something like that but that's that doesn't matter we have done really well in the series and um, so once again thank you guys for watching and i'll see you guys in the next episode Peace.